Hey what's up guys, this is a 2013 MacBook Air review. Is it still any good in 2016? Stick around to find out. This MacBook Air is rocking the Core i5 Haswell chip with 8GB of RAM, 128GB of flash storage and even though the newer Macs they are thin and powerful but Apple is cutting a lot of corners to achieve that. And this MacBook is relatively thin, at the thinnest point is just barely a tenth of an inch and at the thickest point is barely over half an inch which if you compare it to my 12 inch tablet it's almost about the same thickness and even though it's still thin and portable it packs a 40, 54 watt battery it's enough for to watch hours of crispy videos or I even got an up to 12 hours of working with documents just a full day battery and another thing you might miss in the newer Max is the good old Chicle keyboard. Yes, this keyboard has a lot of trouble, so it's excellent for typing. And as far as the trackpad is concerned, well, since the beginning, Apple has set the standard for trackpad. It's very fluid and smooth. So scrolling long pages and uh, in documents and web pages, and even with apps such as Better Touch Tool, you can increase the usefulness of your trackpad. Another area you might meet us out on with the newer Macs are the lack of ports. Here we have a bunch of ways to connect external drives either via the fast Thunderbolt port or the USB 3.0 which actually is still being used in most PCs today and also the SD card slot which effectively you can double your storage space. I'm rocking the 128 gig Transcend Jet Drive Lite and it's fast enough for casual use. And also, it's thin, but it won't get in the way, so I've forgotten the drive is even there. Lastly, I can't even imagine how many Macs were saved by the magnetic power connectors in the older Macs, which now is being replaced with the USB-C, which is not as easy to connect or disconnect. Now here's where we can see the age in, the, in this MacBook. The screen is no ultra high definition screen, only a 1440 by 900 at a 4.3 ratio is good enough for working with documents, but if you keep your distance, you can't even see the pixels anyway. So for me, it's good enough. But the webcam is another story. And this 720p camera is not bad at all, it's pretty good actually. So even though it's portable as my 12 inch tablet, it's a lot more powerful, easier to do some serious work. Even the video you're watching right now was edited right here with DaVinci Resolve 12.5 beta version. So in my honest opinion, even though this is an older MacBook, it still performs well enough to keep up with the demands in 2016. So for $600, you get a reasonably powerful, a long battery life and a slick design looking ultra book. That's pretty good to me. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment below. Uh, what devices have you used that are, that are older but are still very useful today?